Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Simon and we are the Wells of Wall Street. Today's topic is around privacy and identity uh, related blockchains and tokens. And in particular, um, some interesting news that I've seen in the last 24 hours or so. This comes from Tinder, okay? So there's a lot of applications out there, um, as you know, especially with exchanges, where we've got a very uh, kind of like top line security and identification processes where you upload your driving license, your passport, uh, pictures of yourself holding your passport, all this nonsense that you have to try and do in the mirror, uh, trying to see if you've actually got yourself in picture or not. Uh, I'm sure we've all been there. But the reason I'm bringing this to the attention more so is because it seems that more and more applications and businesses who utilize very much customer eccentric um, your application and services are starting to use this kind of element of security and verification more and more. Now, Tinder is one that has been looking into this for some time and is looking to do this globally, okay? So obviously they need to work out in particular in each region and each country what their legislation and regulation is around AI and authentication process, uh, particularly when it's involving uh, you know very high security level detail of things like your ID, physical ID and things like this. So it's really interesting to see how exactly this rolls out and how quickly, but there is no mention here of uh, any form of blockchain technology being used for this aspect. Now there are companies out there that of course deal with, uh, you know, identity scenarios without the use of blockchain but in my opinion the way that it's going to work officially correctly and efficiently um so i think i said efficiently twice but never mind it's that efficient is because of things like blockchain where you have things like blockchain that hold data that hold information that cannot be manipulated that cannot be accessed by anyone else as long as of course the blockchain is extremely secure and that's where of course proof of work proof of stake all of these aspects of validation help secure networks help secure blockchains to be arguably the most secure chain and platform in the world currently when it comes to internet or digital um, aspects of life so what i don't um find yet as i've said is information on how they are doing this but i want to bring to the attention of some tokens and crypto assets that are very much heavily involved uh, in this field of privacy and identity utilizing blockchain technology the first one which i've done a video already on recently and i will leave a uh, box at the end of this video to link to that is tky so the key and these guys when the website loads i will show you these guys are very much heavily focused again on identity utilizing blockchain verification tools but these guys use um, the neo platform so the reason i picked out various different ones is because they're all on different platforms or their own okay so neo blockchain is very much a good upcoming blockchain i think in the future it will become very much utilized more and more um, but this is very much identifying uh, people around the world utilizing mobile app technology and giving this service to clients to use on their apps so this is the sort of thing that i would expect um like the likes of tinder with their announcement to use this kind of thing not not general um you know centralized systems but decentralized systems um and i just think that that's the way forward for this kind of thing um i'm not going to go into massive price details and things like that on each of these but i'm more than happy to perhaps do a, a quick breakdown on some security ones uh from a price analysis perspective after this video at some point but i just wanted to reiterate that these kind of things are available when i'm looking at projects particularly for me personally um, Steve's a bit different, but for me personally, I'm looking at things within gaming, within AI, IoT, privacy, identity, all the things where you see all these messages and all these worldwide problems and you think, what are the solutions to this? And the solutions are already there. It's just that no one's really heard about them yet or really 
uh, engaging fully yet with blockchain technology. So th what I'm thinking is like five years time, 10 years time, forget smartphones when we have all the, you know, the chips inside us or you know, a universal identity system where I don't have to carry my passport or my driving license around anymore. It's just all on one system, whether it be on the smartphone, whether it be on a sensor chip, these things are coming guys. Like <laughs> there's no doubt about it. That's not conspiracy. Go and check out like the boring company from me on Elon Musk and all these other things like Microsoft putting the painting in for sensors, LLC patents into America, government right now, and Visa, biometrics. All of this sort of thing is going to happen. So let's not um, you know miss this opportunity, in my opinion. And I think these kind of projects, albeit very low on people's watch lists and radar at the moment, other ones probably in five, 10 years time, when the adoption comes, will take off. That's not to say that TKY is the one. I've picked out a few here. Civic, so Civic is, is absolutely huge um, you know, opportunity, of course. Um, great market cap level, great volumes coming in every 24 hours. There's a lot of money going through CVC. And again, it's the same similar principle of what they do, blockchain-based identity management. I can't believe for one second that these exchanges and these companies aren't using blockchain technology. Exchanges must be because they are in the DeFi space. It would make absolute nonsense sense. Nonsense sense, the same thing, to not utilize a blockchain related um, identity platform. So I'm really interested in how all of this is going to develop. CVC, absolutely huge, as I mentioned. This is what it's about. AI powered identity verification. So basically when you're onto an app that you're using on your phone or a system, it, it knows who you are because everything is collated in one place. Honestly, I, I would love nothing more than when you go to an airport instead of dithering about with security with the stupid, like what was supposed to be quicker, electronic passport poofs and things like this, to have it all on one app driving license, you go to a nightclub or you're gonna get some drinks and you need to be identified. Don't get me wrong, like people like to see the physicality of things because of you know potential manipulation or, or this, that and the other, but we are now entering a more trust-based system, a more trust-based society in the sense that people are now using apps like WeChat or this, that and the other to identify themselves. And the more companies will be adopting that over the period of time because it's easier, it's more efficient, it's quicker, it's less cost, it's less admin, it's it's everything. It's the speed to speed up economy, to speed up the processing of everything, the processing of humans going from one place to another, the process of payments, the process of opening up accounts. This is what it should have been. We've been waiting so long for this kind of thing and it's already here, it just needs the adoption story. And I do believe more and more applications will be doing this. And eventually when people start crying going, oh, I don't want this, I don't want my identity on this thing, they will do it eventually. There's no doubt about it. Cashless society, for example. Oh, there will never be a, decent, um, a digital currency. There will never be a cashless society. We'll always have cash. Well, no, we won't because we've seen the problem arises, the solution's already there, they have the reason to bring the solution in, i.e. last year, for example, with the cashless society, to the point where in five years' time, there probably will be no cash left because it will all be online or on your phone or on the sensor chips, whatever you wanna do. Um, but the important thing about whenever you're trying to do something, apply to something, be a part of something, you will need this kind of interactive ID interface or application. That's what these companies need. So this isn't something you and I would go and get. Um, well, obviously we can invest in it, but it's not something we would apply to our phones. If this is about companies and businesses utilizing this technology that, that you then go and use, um, like Tinder, for example, those that use Tinder, or I'm not just thinking about Tinder, there's loads of other applications using this thought process moving forward. That's the message I'm trying to deliver here, is that these things, don't expect gigantic movements on some of these. I mean, of course, the Civic price is, is absolutely, um, you know, fantastic uh, at the moment of, com com you know, in terms of comparison of where it is in its adoption, etc. And there's great opportunities here, as you can see, certainly in the last um, few months, last six months or so. But there's others that aren't even heard of yet. Some might not make it, um, of course, as, as the rest of the market. But 
there's opportunities here to do research and I always say this none of this is financial advice do your own research on this know your customer know your customer some people argue that's still a centralized system but actually you still need to have some kind of element of centralized aspect doesn't mean it has to be centralized you can have aspects of centralization into decentralized format there's no problem with that and there's no reason why that couldn't work and this is what it's about digital identity and i'm sort of sat here well i haven't got self key i've seen various videos like bitboy i think did one a while back it's on all the fantastic exchanges um already so it is there for the taking um and again not financial advice i'm not saying you should go and get this i'm saying do your own research into this element of security i, li I like the website they've got the fantastic interfaces on desktop and um online these guys aren't necessarily sort of fully related to um you know just identification they do have a couple of other things as well but uh, like wallets for example but it's, it's all about you know helping these companies uh startups banks etc to i for identity management guys identity management this is where it's going syscoin i think that's how you say it Again, I wish they would put like some abbreviations and I'm going to add that to my watch list actually because it wasn't on there. Um, you know, again, relatively good price points. We've seen previous historic data to say that we still got movement in the tank. We'll see. Um, but again, Syscoin, platform, trustless interoperability, being able to take your identity wherever you are around the world and utilize that platform simultaneously to anything and everything that you use. That is what it is about. This one in particular is on the Ethereum chain at the moment, I believe. So I personally, I'm, I'm not amazingly fussed about using things that are on Ethereum. But, um, you know, there's other opportunities. That's why I picked out all these different ones here. So like I said, I will do a full like price review on some of these. I have done a TKY video and I will do one on some of the other ones as well, if that's of interest. Let us know in the comments below, are you invested in any of these? And what's your approach and thought process to this particular sector of lifestyle and social you know the social aspect of it in terms of how it will improve our lives and are you bullish on this element do you think it can be successful um in terms of adoption and time frames and then we'll do the price analysis and actual drill downs of these projects for you as well but i wanted to pick them out because i've followed these for a long time uh, cbc in particular and i haven't done anything about it uh, it's just pure laziness, uh, to be honest. Um, but I do have TKY. Um, CVC is one that's very much on my priority list of, of to invest in eventually. I'm not sure if I would personally right now, uh, just because I have money in other projects and I don't want to spread myself too thin. I went with TKY personally because of that price point to accumulate, not for this bull run, but for the future. Um, if you understand the tokenomics, watch the video that I put out there, you'll understand that this number here is is good, uh, it's massive, uh, but that's that's not necessarily um, you know what we're going to end up with. So total supply, for example, is, is a bit, um, bit more or less. So just, just keep an eye on these things. But yeah guys if you found this informative please do let me know um and like i said i will cover these individually but i wanted to throw the concept of kyc and identification application through blockchain technology potentially i'm not saying tinder are or are not going to use blockchain but i'd be extremely surprised in this day and age if you wanted to enhance yourself and be the next level you should be integrating yourself with the next level technology and application which is defi blockchain i can't speak any more about this because it frustrates me that companies aren't doing this quicker but here we are i hope you enjoyed this video please do like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. We're nearly at 500, guys, and I will do a giveaway at 500. I'm going to announce it at the end of this week, what we're going to give away. And anyone who is already subscribed or about to subscribe will be involved in that already. So I will see you guys in the next video and on the moon with all this identity awesomeness. Goodbye.